Welcome to another video. So uh, let's answer this person's questions. Orthopedist told me to swim. Uh, I am 17 years old, male, 56 kilograms. My orthopedist, a uh, doctor that specializes in a uh, branch of medicine concerned with correction or prevention of deformities, disorders, or injuries of the skeleton and associated structures. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, orthopedist told me that my entire body, especially my shoulders and knees, joints specifically, are very weak and that I should start swimming. Hmm, I wonder why. Probably have to do with gaming, too much smartphone, too much of all that online crap that a lot of these kids this generation are doing too much of. So, he also told me to get an appointment for six months later and that if I wasn't fit, he would beat me up. Ooh, I like this doctor already. It's normal in our culture. He's not a psychopath. Okay, uh, but that's unfortunately all he told me. I'm not sure whether I should start doing one hour or 30 minute swimming sessions. Okay, that's one question. What, techni what techniques? That's two. How long to do each technique? Four. That's three. I'm pretty out of shape and not sporty at all. Okay, so a 17 year old kid that's out of shape. Uh, I know how to swim, I live in Cyprus, but I may do the strokes wrong. Quite frankly, I'm very demotivated by this because uh, already because I have ADHD. Oh, okay, smartphone junkie. Uh, and keep keeping a routine is pretty hard for me. And I get bored very easily, smartphone junkie. I'm also a very busy person, smartphone junkie. Uh, so I really don't want to go swimming classes as I already have a lot on my plate. Oh, okay. All right, for a 17 year old, he has a lot on his plate, okay. How can I start? What intervals should I start at? Please help me because I have no idea. Okay, let's answer this kid's question. Okay, so here are some red flags that I noticed right away. First of all, he has ADHD, okay? So he has a very, 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 very short TikTok attention span. So whatever he does alone, he's not going to accomplish. If he's in a class, he's not going to accomplish, okay? He needs one-on-one -on -one attention, okay? So, if you're watching, this is what I recommend to you, kid. First of all, you're going to hire a swim coach. You're going to work one-on-one -on -one with this swim coach. Maybe, maybe invite another student that's at the same level as you, maybe a friend of yours, to come along, okay, so that you can bounce off ideas from. But in this scenario, no more than three people in this group in order to train okay now how long should you train for my recommendation is 30 to 45 minutes no way you're going to complete an hour or more session okay based on your requirements here okay and uh people who swim an hour or more they are already competent swimmers they are they already know what to do they don't need to learn they just they just go to the pool and do the work so that for example, means me swimming thousands of laps back and forth, which will require an hour or two hours or three hours of my time to set aside. Okay, I already know what I have to do. In your case, you don't know what to do. So you need someone to tell you what to do. So you need to hire a swim coach to tell you what to do. And having a friend tag along or another student by your side gives you that break because you can take a break and you can watch someone else do exactly what you're trying to learn as well. So for example, if two students, the same age, same level, two boys, for example, 17 years old, both of them, are trying to learn front crawl, it's better to let one person do the attempt the front crawl and let the other student watch okay so they can see what they they're doing right what they're doing wrong and then back and forth they take turns in the water because i have 30 minute sessions with kids with my students and at the end of 30 minutes they are dead tired okay they can play all they want in the summer day summer long pool but when they're with me they do hundreds and hundreds of laps lots of repetition and 30 minutes is intense when you're working with someone like me. So hire a coach, a private swim coach. Schedule a 30-minute session with another student at the same level if possible. All right. And what you're going to work on or what he or she is going to work with you on is front crawl and breaststroke mainly. Okay. Forget treading water. Forget diving. Forget butterfly. Forget deep underwater diving, holding your breath and all that crap and synchronized swimming, all of that, that's just noise. 
Okay, you just need your meat and potatoes, your bread and butter, front crawl and breaststroke. These are the two strokes that you need to learn. You need to learn them well. It's going to take a lot of time. So you got to put in the work. It's like trying to learn how to drive. It's going to take some time. Okay. Once you learn how to drive, then you go on to stage two. How do you deal with other drivers? But that's later on. That's foreshadowing. Uh, another tip that I recommend is bring a GoPro, bring a smartphone, bring something, something and someone to film your swimming. Okay. When you see the footage after swimming sessions, you're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be humbled at what you see because you're going to be like, that's me in the water. Yes, that is you in the water. And this is what you're going to have to fix next time. And that's going to give you that motivation, that push to keep going. What's even going to motivate you even more is if you post that stuff on TikTok or social media or share that video with your friends online, people that you know and people that you don't know, they're going to give you feedback. A lot of everyone's a swim coach online. Believe me. They're going to give you the feedback, brutal feedback, whether you like it or not. And that's going to either demotivate or motivate you to keep going and get better okay so that's my advice for this kid if you're in the same situation take notes okay so my name is justin thanks for watching get my free ebook on swimming and have fun swimming this summer okay take care bye